what you see here are resistors. They're fundamental electronic components that resist the flow of current through a circuit. I've got three of them here, and they all resist at different values. This top one has a resistance of 1,000 ohms. I know that because of the colors on it, the brown, black, and red band, the same colors of my high school. And so I know that that is 1,000 ohms. This one here is brown, black, and orange, the color of Halloween, and I know that's 10,000 ohms. Those are just tricks that I use to remember some of the really core resistor values. But then there's this one that's a little bit more unique. Of course, it has a blue body, but what's more unique is the fact that it has that single black band. And that single black band means that it has no resistance. It does not resist at all. It is a resistor that doesn't resist. Why would a component like this be useful at all? Well, it's essentially a wire, right? There's no resistance. So what I wanna do is talk about why or at least three uses that I've found for this component. The first use is routing. And when I say routing, I mean circuit board routing. Especially single, single layer circuit boards where everything has to be on a single layer, you run into situations like this, where you have a red trace that's going in this direction, and you've got a green trace or wire that you need to go this way. And so you can't obviously collide with this wire because then they would be connected or short-circuited. And so something that I've done in the past is just put a zero ohm resistor in here. So as this green trace um, comes over this way, it connects to a solder pad, which a zero ohm resistor is soldered to, it branches over and then continues on its path. So let's look at an implementation of that actually. So this is a board that I made in grad school. And you can see, right, I milled this on my own mill and there's all sorts of components on the back and front. Um, but you can see right there, there's the zero ohm resistor. And so I had, just as I described, I had a trace coming this way and I needed another trace that was going that way. And a zero ohm resistor was a really nice compact way for me to make that bridge. The next way, or the next thing that we can use it for is jumpers. If you've ever assembled a computer or worked with really any configurable electronics, you've probably seen these jumpers. They look like little black towers that you can take off and underneath you see these two pins. And those are really nice configuration devices for indicating you want a feature to be enabled or disabled or you want to indicate a one or a zero. But they can be kind of bulky and they're they, they are prone to be removed, right? They could be removed and you might not even notice it. And so a lot of electronics, especially development electronics, will use zero ohm resistors in place of these jumpers. They can be quite small and you have to have some intention if you want to take them off, right? So they can be used for configuration or completely isolating parts of circuits. In fact, I'm going to show you Another board here, this board is, pop it up here, this board is the uh, TVC launch pad. We use this in our microcontrollers class at Michigan Tech. And actually you can see a bunch of zero ohm resistors. There's some right here, there's some right, some right here. Now keep in mind, a development board is kind of a generic purpose device. It doesn't know what it's going to be used for, and so they want to give you options if possible. A common thing that development boards have is a multicolored LED. You can see it right here, and here's the kind of the driver circuit for it. And that's hooked to the general purpose I.O. on this microcontroller. I can write a program that allows this LED to do something. Those GPIO pins also connect to these external header pins that I could use for motor drivers or analog inputs, whatever they may be. And so if I want to use them for that function and I don't care about the LED, I could run into problems where this LED circuit interferes with what I'm doing. And so these zero ohm resistors here allow me to remove this circuit from, so it's not connected to the GPIO without having to completely unsolder that circuit. And if I decide I want it back, I can put these resistors back. So that's another usage of the zero ohm resistor. And the third usage that I want to look at is as a stand-in. 
Sometimes when you're designing electronics, you don't know if you're going to need a resistor. You might need a resistor. It might be nice to have a resistor, but you're not entirely sure if you're going to need it. And so um, say you tried a 5 ohm resistor and it wasn't getting what you needed. You tried a 3 ohm resistor, still wasn't what you needed. And then you put a 0 ohm resistor in there and it works, right? I still need something to bridge this gap because it exists on my circuit board and a 0 ohm resistor can do that. So those are the three main uses I've found for zero ohm resistors. There may be more. If you want to comment those, that would be cool. Um, but right, routing for circuit boards, used as jumpers, and potentially as stand-ins. So anyways, if you have any other ideas or questions for videos that you might like to see, um, feel free to comment below, and thanks for watching.